Today, let's work on matching analog and digital clocks. Look at the clock and select the choice that matches below. I'm going to start with my scratch pad to help me out. Here, the hour is 10 and the minutes are 45. So it is 1045. When we're looking on a clock, there's two hands. A little hand, which points to the hour, and a big hand, which points to the minute. So this clock shows the hour hand pointing to the two, and then the minute hand is on the 12, so that means that it is exactly two o'clock. So this clock does not quite reach. Let's go to this clock. Start with the hour. Here's the hour. Well, it's past 10 o'clock, but not quite 11. So the hour at this clock is 10. Now, when we look at the minutes, the minutes are pointed to the nine. That doesn't mean that it's 10.09. It means we need to count by fives around the clock. So this would be zero, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So the time here would be 1045. So this clock matches the analog clock. Super. Look at the clock below and select the choice that matches. So let's select the clock by looking here at the hour hand. Well, my hour hand, if we go down and point all the way down, well, my hour hand is past the six o'clock but it's not quite to the seven o'clock, which means that my hour is six o'clock. Now we need to find the minutes. The minutes are pointed at my 10. Remember that our minutes count by five. So we start here at zero, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, and our 10 would be 50. So our minutes are 50. So our time is 650, which we can see is right here. So let's close our scratch pad. Nice work. Now we want to look for the clock and select the choice that matches. So our hour is 8 and our minute is 15. So we're gonna be looking for an hour hand that is past eight, but not to nine. So let's look at this hour hand. Well, this hour hand is past 11, but not quite to the 12, so that means it's 11 o'clock. So it's not that clock. This clock shows the hour hand is past the seven, but not quite to the eight, so the hour is seven o'clock, so it's not that one. This clock shows the hour hand is almost to the four. So it's past three, but not quite four. So our hour here would be three o'clock. Well, that's not right, which means the last one should be right, but let's double check. So if we look here, the hour hand goes past the eight, but it's not quite to the nine. So our hour is eight. And now let's count. This would be zero, 5, 10, 15. So this clock shows 815. So let's close our scratch pad and click 815. Look at the clock and select the choice that matches below. So we're looking for 10. The hour is 10 and the minutes are 55. So we're going to be looking for a time where our hour hand is past the 10, but not quite to the 11. So let's look here. Past our hour hand is past 10 and not quite to 11. Well, that's good. Our hour here is 10. Now let's count by minutes. 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Well, that means that this clock is actually 10, 45, which means that it does not match 10, 55. Let's look at the second clock. We have the hour hand here. The hour hand is past the 10, but not quite to 11. So it is still 10 o'clock. And now let's look, our minute hand is right here. So let's count 
0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55. So this would be 10, 55. Well, that does match. Let's just double check here. This clock goes in between the four and the five, so the hour is four o'clock. That doesn't match. And this clock, the hour hand, goes in between the seven and the eight, so the hour is seven, so that doesn't match. So let's move on to our next problem. Let's close this and hit 1055. Nice work. Now look at the clock and select the choice that matches below. So let's tell the time on the clock. Let's look at where our hour hand is. We point it all the way out. Our hour hand is after three, but not to four. So the hour is three o'clock. And now our minute hand goes to this two. Remember that with our minutes, we count by five. So zero, five, and this one would be 10. So our time should read three, 10. Do we see that anywhere? Yes, we do. So let's close our scratch pad. 310. Nice job. Now we're going to look at the clock and select the choice that matches below. We're looking for a clock that shows 225. So we're looking for a clock that the hour is at after the 2, but not quite to the 3. Here's my hour hand. My hour hand is after the 5, not to the 6. So that can't be right. Look at this one. The hour hand is right here. So that's after the two, but not quite to the three. So we know this one has an hour of two. Now let's see where the minutes are. The minutes go to the five. So let's count zero, five, 10, 15, 20, 25. Wow. So this clock shows two, 25. Let's just double check the other ones real quick and look at our hour hand. Our hour hand is in between eight and nine. So that can't be right. And then our hour hand here is in between one and two, which means our hour is one. So that can't be right. So we know the time is 225, which matches that clock. Look at the clock and select the choice that matches below. Let's use that scratch pad. Remember that the shorter hand is our hour hand. I'm gonna draw that out. Well, this is after eight, but not quite to nine. So then our hour is eight o'clock. And if we look at our answer choices, there's only one with eight o'clock. So we have a feeling that this is right, but let's just tell the time to be sure. The minute hand goes to the five, so let's count. Zero, five, 10, 15, 20, and 25. So that would be correct, 825. Awesome job. Look at the clock and select the choice that matches below. So again, we're gonna start with our hour hand. Our hour hand is the shorter one, so let's see where it goes. Well, it's after the 11, but not quite to the 12. So we're looking at the hour being 11. And then our minutes go to the nine. So remember, we count by five. So zero, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. So our time would be 11. 45. Nice work. Let's close and click 1145. Look at the clock and select the choice that matches below. So we're looking for a clock that reads 235. So if, we're out, if our hour is 2, we need it to be in between 2 and 3. So here's our hour hand. It's in between 12 and 1. So that can't be right. If we look at this clock, our hour hand is in between 2 and and three, so that's right. Now let's count. Zero, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35. Well, this clock shows two, 35 then. So this one should be correct. Let's just double check. If we move our hour hand here, it's in between 11 and 12, which means the hour's 11. So that one's not right. And if we look here, our hours after the two, but not quite to the three. So the hour is two, but our minutes are on zero, five. So that's not correct. So let's close this. Awesome job. Now we're on to our last one. Let's look at the clock and select the choice that matches. Let's start with the smaller hand or our hour hand. And it is 
after the eight, but not quite to the nine. So we know our time is eight o'clock. So that eliminates 2.40 and three o'clock. So now we just need to decide, is it 8.30 or 8.50? So let's look at our minute hand. Our minute hand goes to the six, so let's count. Zero, five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So our time is 8.30. So let's close that scratch pad. Correct. Great job, everyone. I think we've done a good job uh, matching analog and digital clocks today.